Hello and welcome back. This video is about sixth grade math and identifying factors. So when we're talking about factors, we are talking about numbers that multiply together to get another number. So for example, if we needed to find the factors of the number 16, we'd want to make a list of all the numbers that can be multiplied together to get 16. So our first choice would be 1 times 16, because any number times the number itself will get us that number. So that can be a factor pair for any number. But since 16 is an even number, we can also use 2. 2 times 8 is another factor pair for 16. Now, 3 doesn't work because I can't multiply 3 times something to get 16. So 3 is not a factor. However, 4 is a factor because 4 times 4 will also get me 16. Now, I kind of know that I'm done because if I was to keep going and make the numbers or the factors on the left bigger, I would not have any numbers on the right until I got to eight. So it kind of like when it gets really close together in your factor pairs, you know that you're done. Now, in this case, four and four doesn't get any closer together. So we know that that is definitely the end of our list. So the factors of 16 would be one, two, four, eight, and 16. So even though it's four times four, we don't need to list this twice. Now you may be asking, why are we doing this? This is something we did in fourth grade where we listed the factor pairs for every number and then we didn't do anything with it. So why are we talking about this again? Well, in sixth grade, you're going to be using this to find the greatest common factor of two numbers. So you're gonna be looking at two different numbers and listing out their factors and figuring out the biggest one they have in common is for greatest common factor. So that's why today's video is focused on reviewing what is a factor and how to find them before we get to that. Okay, so here's our first example problem. We're being asked what numbers are factors of 14? Okay, so we can take this one of two ways. We can either list all the factors of 14 and see which ones from the list are included, or we can just kind of do it off the top of our heads. So to get practice listing factors, I think we're going to do it the first way. So I'm going to list 14 over here. I know that 1 times 14 will get me 14. 14 is an even number, so I know 2 times something will get 14. And I know off the top of my head that that something is 7. Now I know I can't multiply 3 to get 14, I can't multiply 4 to get 14, or 5, or 6, so I think I'm pretty much at my end, because the next number would be 7, which would be 7 times 2, which is just repeating the same factors we already have. So let's go over to the list and look and see which of these factors match up. Well, we have a 1, we have a 2, we do not have a 4, and we have a 7. So from this list, the factors of 14 would be 1, 2, and 7. Okay, so here is our next one. Which numbers are factors of 2? Okay, well, 2 we talked about in a previous video is a prime number, which means the only factors that 2 has is 2 times 1 or the other way around, 1 times 2. So those are the only factors of 2 that there are. So if we go over here to the list, we don't see 6. We do see 1. We don't see nine or four. So the only one from this list that is a factor of two is the number one. Okay, so here's our next one. Which number is a factor of 24? Okay, well, let's start by making a list of factors for 24. And then we can see which ones are on there. We know that 120 times 24 will work. 24 is an even number. So we know that it's going to be two times something will work. And in this case, it would be 2 times 12. We also know that 3 will work. And the way that I know that 3 will work is because there's a little trick. If you add together the digits of your number and you end up with a number that can be divided by 3, then the bigger number can be divided by 3. So in this case, 24 means I would add 2 plus 4, which is 6. Well, 6, six can be divided by 3, and I would get 2. That means 24 can also be divided by 3, which means 3 is a factor. I just have to figure out what the other factor is. So if I take 24 and divide it by 3, I would get 8. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all this and put down 3 times 8 as a factor. 
I also know that four times six are two factors of 24. Now see how close I am there at the bottom? Four and six are very close together. So the only other one I might try is five. The reason I know five doesn't work is because our number 24 doesn't end in a zero or a five. For five to be a factor or for that number to be divisible by five, it has to end in a zero or a five. So now if my next number in the list would be right back at six and then I'd be repeating factors. So I don't need to go any further. I don't see a 17, I do see a six, I don't see a five and I don't see a 23. So from this list, the only factor of 24 would be the number six. Okay, here's our next one. For this one, we are being asked to name all the factors of 81. So we're not getting choices, but that's okay. We're just gonna list out the factors. So let's start with 81 up here and let's start with one times 81. Okay, so we know that works. Now, the reason I know two doesn't work is because it's not an even number. So I know two will not work. Let's add those digits together and see if three works. So eight plus one is nine, and nine can be divided by three without a remainder. So that means, yes, three is a factor. Now I just have to figure out what the other factor is that would get me 81 if I multiplied it by three. So since I don't really know that off the top of my head, I'm gonna come over here and do 81 divided by three and see what I get. Well, three fits into eight twice. So I'll put a two up there and a six down here. When I subtract it, I get two left over. I'll bring down that one and three fits into 21 seven times. I'd have no remainder because seven times three is 21. And when you subtract those, you get zero. So that tells me that three times 27 is our two factors of 81. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and move on. Now, I don't think four would work because I can think of four times what would equal 81. I know five doesn't work five, because the number doesn't end in a zero or a five. I know that six doesn't work because here's the trick with six. If in order for a number to have six as a factor, it has to also have two and three as a factor. This one just has three, not two. So six is not going to work. I don't think seven's going to work because I can't think of seven times what would equal 81. But if I wanted to find out for sure, I could take 81 and divide it by seven. If I ended up getting a remainder or a decimal, then I know it doesn't work. I don't believe that eight works. And again, you could try it the same way. You could take 81 divided by eight. And then if you end up with a decimal or a remainder, then no, that doesn't work. But I do know that nine works because I know that nine times nine is 81. Now, see, I've kind of evened up here. Like I've swung back around because if I were to keep going, I would end up back at 27 as my next factor. And then we're repeating factors. So this is a full list of the factors of 81. One, three, nine, 27, and 81. So I don't have to repeat the nine, even though it's there twice. I don't have to repeat it in my list. Okay, here is our last example for this video. Which numbers are factors of 67? Ooh, that's a tricky one. All right, so let's start with 67. And we've got one times 67 to start. Okay, now we know that two is not going to work, right? Because it's not an even number. If I add six plus seven, I get 13. <laughs> I had to think for a second. For a minute, I was like, do I get 15? No, I get 13. And 13 cannot be divided by three. So I know three doesn't work. I don't believe four works, but let's just double check. Actually, we don't need to because we have a list and four isn't even on there. So we don't need to worry about four, even if it works. <laughs> okay, we know five doesn't work because it doesn't end in a zero or a five. Um, six doesn't work because two and three are not factors. The only other one from this list we could check is seven. So let's try seven, 67 divided by seven. Seven does not fit into six. So I'm going to put a zero there. And then seven times eight is 56. Seven times nine is 63. Okay, that's pretty close. But see how I would have four left over. So if I end up with a remainder, then it is not a factor. So the only factors I get for 67 are 1 and 67, making it a prime number, which means from this list, the only one that works is 1. 
two doesn't work, seven doesn't work, and five doesn't work. All right, well, thanks for joining me today, and hopefully I'll see you soon.